it's Twiggy. Um, let's try this again. I just tried to film and for some dumb reason my um, tablet decided to kick me out. Like just went out, the whole screen went black and right now I kind of look like one of those um, Chinese films that like my mouth is moving but the words aren't matching up. So bear with me. I don't know why I'm glitching. I'm guessing it's my Wi-Fi or something's going on because we're having really bad weather here so I'm guessing maybe possibly a power line or something is messing with our Wi-Fi signal. I don't know. But um, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I am Twiggy. I do Bath and Body Works ginormous hauls usually. Um, more towards semi-annual sale twice a year. And then throughout the year, I buy little items throughout the season. Um, I review them. I also do collection videos, um, project use it ups, and just like empties videos. Um, if you enjoy that kind of thing, please subscribe. I will be doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. I think I'm at like 476. I've been kind of fluctuating. I'm, I'm kind of like in a rut, stuck there right now. I do enjoy all of you who have been there through this journey with me. Um, you've seen me lose a lot of weight. You've seen me lose my job that was my dream job. And I really appreciate you guys sticking through it and sticking by me. Um, you guys make me so happy and I enjoy your comments when I am having a really rough day and I wake up and I see I have a bunch of posts from you guys. I like to read them and they cheer me up. Um, I'm kind of in a funk today so I'm still in pajamas. Today's my day off. I, um, One of my friends and I got in a huge argument and we are no longer speaking so that kind of sucks um, because we used to talk every day like multiple times a day like via text or video chat so that kind of sucks but such is life, you know, it wasn't meant to be for them to be my friend forever, I guess. So sometimes it's just to get you over hurdle in life and maybe they just got me over that hurdle and now I'm pushing forward. So, um, but yeah, so I am doing a giveaway at 500 subscribers. You're getting a $50 gift card. I'm going to draw one name out of a hat after everyone gives me their info of like who wants to be in the drawing. Then I will pull that name out. I will announce it on my channel, probably with a haul video of like who the winner is. And then privately, I will ask you to message me um, so I can get your information to send you that said gift card. I also am doing a $100 gift card with 1,000 subscribers. When I hit 1,000 subscribers, which I've been on this channel for like two years. I haven't hit it yet, so I have funny feelings and take me a while because I do not edit my videos. I just do it. This is me. Sometimes a hot mess. Sometimes I cry. It's okay. It's just me. Um, because, one, I don't like doing all that fancy stuff because I don't know how. If I knew how, I probably would make really fancy videos for you guys to be real. But I honestly just like being my authentic self. You either love me or you hate me. I, I really don't care. I do this for fun um, because I've become friends with a couple of you guys that watch my videos. So it's kind of nice. I have like a YouTube family outside of my family because if you guys know, I don't really talk to my family very often. I don't see my dad. I see my dad maybe once a year at like Christmas and my birthday if I'm lucky. Um, and I see my sister when she needs help with her kids because my sister lives like two hours away. So we don't get together all that often. And where I live, no one really comes to visit me. So I'm kind of like the black sheep of the family. So I just kind of like, you know, Buy Bath and Body Works because it makes me happy and like vent to you guys when I'm struggling. So without further ado, not to bore you with my life story, let's get into this haul and this video again because I've already done this once. Was having a good video and then it just went blank. So I'm guessing I'm having problems with my Wi-Fi is what I'm thinking. Who knows? Because we have a, we actually have like a windstorm with like possibility of gusts of like 70 miles an hour. So fun times. And it's like till 7 p.m. is that warning. Okay, so we'll start with this. This was my late night. I can't sleep. I guess I'll order one more thing because candles were $15.95. It would have been a better deal if I would have found my 20% off coupon in the same form that it came in the mail. But I kind of found it after I was looking around the house. I realized I think I had it in my pants pocket for work because I was going to go on my lunch break and I never did. And it kind of went through the washing machine and I couldn't get the numbers off of it because it was like shredded paper by the time I went through the dryer. So... Unfortunately, lost my 20% off coupon, which really sucks because I wanted to use it yesterday for the uh, $5.95 sale, but I don't think you could use it for the $5.90 sale, but there was a sale today I think you could have used it on, which would have brought everything way cheaper than yesterday's sale, so that kind of sucks, but 
it is what it is. Um, and I saw it. I honestly, the only reason I got, well, one of the reasons I got this candle is I saw Tina Marie. She really liked it. And Queen of the Girl Geeks. Um, I watched her videos like religiously and Tina Marie's. And I noticed that they really liked this candle. And I was like, hmm, if they like it, usually I will like it because I'm crazy like that. So without further ado, let's get into this. I got Bright Christmas Morning. I was kind of iffy if I was going to like this, and I kind of thought I would, but I, for some stupid reason when they had the buy two, get two free, I didn't order this. I don't know. That was weird. I did order candles outside of my comfort zone, my first order, um, just because I haven't been doing that. And I got the, I got two, I'll show you. But yeah, so in the scent notes of this, if you guys don't know, because you haven't gone to the store or live under a rock and haven't looked at the scent notes, is... Ripe red raspberries, blood orange, and crisp apple with natural essential oils. It smells amazing. It literally smells like, I'm not even going to lie, it smells like my grandma my um, from my mom's side's house um, at Christmas time. She had like four live Christmas trees and her house at Christmas just had this like distinct Christmas smell. Like you walked in her house, she had like four live Christmas trees, glass ornaments like from Poland because we're Polish. My grandparents migrated from Poland. Um, so yeah, it really just reminds me of my grandma's house at Christmas time and like me laying under the Christmas tree when I was like four, looking at up all the ornaments or even when I was like three. I know I don't understand how I remember this, but I do remember it. And just like listening to the birds because she had this room full of birds, like ginormous room full of birds. Well, it wasn't really a big room. It was like my mom's old bedroom. It's full of birds and you could hear the birds chirping and there was these little chickadees or not chickadees, um, zebra finches. And zebra finches sound like the roadrunner. They go me me. They don't chirp. They go me me when they like chirp. That's their chirp. And it's freaking cute. And I remember that. This is what this candle is. It's basically my grandma's house in a candle form. I love it. It also smells like my mom's house. Like she might have like just gotten out of the shower, put her perfume on, and it like the house has Christmas ornaments and everything up. Because for some reason, my parents' house, when you put the Christmas stuff up, it smells like Christmas in their house. And this is literally their house in a nutshell. So I love that smell. I ended up, because you know me, if I really like a candle, I get a couple multiples of it. So I ended up getting two of these um, because I'll burn one and keep one in my collection. The wrapping is not particularly, like, spectacular to me. I could do care less. Um, because honestly, it reminds me of The Simpsons and, like, you know, like, when they all sit on the couch in their living room. It's not that particularly pretty. I do like the lid, though. It's got reindeer on it and little Christmas trees and snowflakes. That's really pretty. Really love it. Um, but yeah, I, I probably will get two more just to have four in my collection. Because I'm trying not to buy multiples that are so outrageous. Because I still have that chocolate covered cherry from like last year or the year before. I have so many of those still. I didn't realize how many I bought until I reorganized my closet. Yes, I have that many ridiculous amount of candles. And if you follow me on Instagram, I put them all out on the floor and organize them by season. And it literally took over my whole entire living room. I have over 300 and some candles right now. So, but let's get into this. And then um, this one's my fall candles from the buy to get to free thing because I ended up um, buying winter ones the first time around and I bought like new winter ones that I've never had before. So I was like, being adventurous, yay. Um, there is another one that I want to get that's like under the tree or Christmas tree or something. That one sounds really interesting. So I'll probably wait until the next candle sale and buy that. Um, because it sounds good and I probably wouldn't like it. But the first candle in this box is Sugared Cherry Crisp because it's an online exclusive. I've had this before from last year when I was in stores and I just really like it. It smells like sweet cherry pie to be perfectly honest with you and I missed out on sweet cherry pie when it first was out. Um, I didn't discover it until it was at some annual sale and at that point I could find like two of the candles and then I had to order some from Macari. And don't get me started, I hate Macari right now because I literally got ripped off and I was so pissed and it took m about a month and a half of fighting with them to finally get a refund. It was bad. Did not like it. But I also got Vampire Blood. And you guys know me, I never get Halloween candles, but for some stupid reason this year Vampire Blood smells way different to me. And it's, like, way different in a, like, it smells amazing kind of way. 
And the scent notes of this is um, red, okay, blood red strawberry, midnight blooming jasmine, dark Transylvania plum with natural essential oils. I even have a soap. I have it in the gel form because I couldn't get it in the, um, I know I'm going to make you guys nervous. Um, there's a little basket here with like wall, um, room sprays that I have it on top of, so don't freak. Um, but yeah, so I ended up getting that in soap this year. Uh, they didn't have any of the foaming in that one because I like snoozed on it until like the last minute and then I saw they have it in the gel. And honestly, I didn't want it in the foaming too bad because I um, like the gel. I like to have a gel one and I like to have a regular foaming pump one. Um, and I have this little soap dish from last year when they used to do soap dishes at Bath and Body Works. And I have it in its little soap dish. And it really works because I got the soap dish, I think, for like two bucks. It was originally like, I don't know, like 10, 50 years. Some outrageous amount because you know Bath and Body Works and their prices. Um, then I got this one, which is pumpkin apple. Do not like the packaging. think it's butt ass ugly, but I do like the candle. And I have a lot of the pumpkin apple in... Um, room wallflowers so I figured I'd get it in this form too and it is amazing it's a little strong on the um, clove bud but I like it um red delicious apple fall pumpkin fresh ground cinnamon and clove buds I have to be careful because um one the cats because clove is like one of the like toxic scents and also somebody I or the person I live with um they are like kind of allergic to clove like, they can eat it without dying or anything. It's just sometimes it gives them a headache if it's too clovey. So, then this is Cranberry Woods. I've never had this before. I'm, I'm, I don't know. I must have slept on it. I ended up getting a new one, too, sent to me. That's one of my packages coming. Because I don't know if the wrap is going funky on it or if it's actually shattered. Um, but it was, like all bubbly and weird and I didn't want it to like blow up so I ended up getting another one and I'm gonna just pull it out after I burn that one and put this one in it because I'm too scared of just the wrap getting weird on it and it smells really good I like it I like cranberry woods better than frosted cranberry frosted cranberry I don't know it's just a little much for me and this one's tart cranberry cinnamon bark uh forest cedar and golden amber and I just figured this one's a really nice fall one. This kind of actually smells like my grandpa Tom's house. Um, when he was living, his house had like this weird, I know it's like, a, his house was like weird and musty smelling, but it was like musty in a good way. And then like with my grandpa's like candles, he always burned in his house because he, he, he also shopped at Bath and Body Works. Go grandpa. Um, he passed away a couple years ago from cancer. So, um, yeah, it's kind of like. I don't know. It reminds me of my grandpa. And I really like the scent. It's really cozy and I can just see like being cuddled up on the couch or curled up on the couch with my cats with a throw blanket and a good book and just burning that candle on the stove in the background um, because that's like the only safe place in my house to burn anything because I don't have a coffee table or anything. And I just put them on my kitchen stove because I have a glass top stove and it's like safer because I'm paranoid of like burning the house down. So that is my entire haul for today. I do have literally, okay, I have three boxes, well, four technically boxes coming. One's just a replacement candle for the one that came kind of funky in this box. And then the rest are um, like a bunch of body care and room stuff, so, and soaps and stuff. So you guys will see that as soon as it arrives, I will be filming. So I go, I go, uh, I can't talk. I hope you guys are all doing well, um, and I will see you soon. Love you all. Bye.